How are y'all doing today, ladies and gentlemen? You see the guy on the screen right here with the big old smile? Well, this is Jason Rance. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. I think it's just Jason with a C, so so Jason or a C-H. Yeah, so, so Jason. I think that's right. I've never heard this name before, but you've probably never heard a story like this guy's before, and absolutely not for good reason. He's a guy who, despite the crime he committed, is still allowed to be around children to this day, and the way he does it is by running a wrestling promotion. Jason has been wrestling for 25 years, and in that time he's wrestled for pretty big wrestling companies like Ring of Honor, being in the ring with people like Sami Zayn, and dudes you can see on TV every week now. And despite once being a contestant on a reality show, he never got that level of national exposure that his confidants did. And then you gotta ask, well why is that? Well. A reality show star is accused tonight of having sex with a minor. Chasen Rance is accused of lewd and lascivious battery on that girl. And the girl says she had sex with the reality show star several times at his Orlando home when she was just 15 years old. So as you heard right there, in 2010, Chasen Rance was arrested for relations that he had with a minor in 2008. He would have been 25 at the time. And by the time he was like found guilty, I believe he was 28. Chasen was found guilty of sexual assault, and you would think the story would end there, right? Like this guy would be in jail and that's the end of the story, maybe he gets out in 20 years if they're a little lenient, uh, who knows? But no, no, for some odd reason, for some reason that I can't humanly comprehend, this guy is not only out on the street, but he is running a wrestling promotion in Florida, and not, not only that, he is running a wrestling promotion in which he has a training school where he is the head trainer and minors train there. And not only that, he for some reason booked himself as the tag team champions with a 16 year old girl. Why is this allowed? Like, have we just gone fucking mad that this guy, a guy that is on the sex offender registry, is allowed to be around kids all day long? Now, mind you, I'm not the first person who's brought up this issue. I've seen people raise the issue of Chase and Rance still running a wrestling school and being around minors plenty of times in the past few years. And I've always wanted to talk about this because I can't believe it's been going on this long. And then I randomly got recommended a video from Chasen's YouTube channel, the Team Vision Dojo. And this is from seven hours ago. It is currently March 25th, 2024. It's about midnight. And this video, you're seeing was uploaded seven hours ago this is him and his new tag team partner another very young looking girl like well, it's still happening the other time i told you about was like two years ago why does this consistently still happen and who are these people who are just cool with this the referee the other people in the ring the very very few fans they have in that building who is just okay with all this going on rance even went on the reality show tool academy to become a better boyfriend his new reality being labeled a sex offender so even though he was on the registry, Chasen didn't let that stop him from trying to fulfill his dream of being a big time pro wrestler. And how did he do that? Well, it was by throwing money at any big wrestler he could and helping big time pro wrestlers out when they were at their worst. Like Scott Hall, who you see on screen here, who lived with Chasen apparently for a little bit. Now, I don't know what that says about Scott Hall, but I do know what it says about Chasen, and it says that he's just trying to ride the coattails of any big name he can. And you'd think a lot of these guys would be smart enough to stay away from him. However, that's not the case, as he has a lot of friends in high places, it seems. Now, for some of these guys' cases, it seems like it could be a mistake. In the case of Kenny Omega here, who he claims he mistakenly booked Chasen for an event back in 2018 that he later went on to apologize for. Now, I can understand him doing that, but this picture here, I mean, if he's just taking pictures with everyone who's on the show, again, I can kind of understand, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It feels like you gotta do your research for something like this, and a name as toxic as his in the wrestling industry industry is just something you probably don't gloss over. But there's a difference between accidentally booking somebody and just straight up going there and hanging out with them at his own place. Because that's what people like Ricochet and former TNA world champion Moose did. 
Now, I've heard rumors before that a lot of wrestlers go here because during the pandemic it was a good place to train, and I mean, even if that's the case, this guy is a known predator. Like, like well, it doesn't matter. Like, like, train in your backyard. Don't go to the predator's gym. I don't know why that's so hard to believe. I've also heard a lot of allegations that Jason's like a weed connect, like, or at least he has a weed connect, but that's all again allegations, and that's why, but that's allegedly why these people all hang out with him is because you know chasing you can wrestle with him you can smoke a blunt with him um who knows if that's the truth or not but again is is getting a little bit of weed really worth chilling with a with a sex offender i don't think so i mean y'all know me your boy likes to get fried but i've never wanted to smoke that badly but again i don't know if he is but he has to be funding his gym somehow and i assume he's doing it with all the money he's getting off of the people he trains because it can't be from ticket sales because you've seen those little clips of videos i've shown and you can go to his youtube channel yourself to see it there is never more than like two or three people in the crowd and the rest of the people are all clearly other trainees but back to the people in the picture Although they were pictured with Chasen, none of these wrestlers actually came out and were like, yeah, we're friends with him, because again, no one wants to be associated with Chasen. That is except for one wrestler. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Teddy Hart. Now, I would have to go on for hours to tell you every shitty thing that Teddy Hart has done in his career, but the ones that I think are most jarring are just beating and choking his former girlfriend Maria Manic to such a terrible level that she literally just decided to never wrestle again. And then there's a second story. It involves a former student of Teddy Hart's that later became his girlfriend named Samantha Fiddler who went missing about six years ago and she's since never been found, and with the track record that Teddy has, I mean, a lot of people have pointed fingers over the years. Again, this is all alleged, but it, it does bring home a good point when he's buddying up to someone like Chasen here who is also a reprehensible individual. There are documentaries on how much of a shitty person Teddy Hart is, and it would, like I said, I'd be doing a disservice if I tried to explain it all here, but I'll link some videos down below where you can go see Teddy's whole story, because it, he's not only a shitty person, but his story is just absolutely insane. And Teddy himself is insane. And with all the things I previously mentioned, among many other things, Teddy was not really being hired in the pro wrestling industry anymore. I guess the term would be blackballed, but a lot of times nowadays people just call it canceling. And Teddy's canceling was pretty, pretty appropriate considering what he was accused of. Now, that wasn't enough for Chasen here to not want to go and pick him up, and that's exactly what he did. Because what you're seeing on screen right now is a tag team match where Chasen and Teddy Hart team up to face two other guys. And look, look at this shit. Teddy Hart is doing what he's known for. Unnecessary bullshit. There's like two people in the crowd again. He's hitting a Canadian destroyer. And then out of nowhere, he, he busts this out. Like, Teddy Hart has always been someone pretty innovative, but again, there's like no one there to see this. What? What? Like, what's, what is the purpose of pulling that out? Just hit it from a standing base at that point. Like, nobody's going to see this. This upload here is like 200 views. I guarantee you more people are going to see that backflip because of this video than, than Chasen's initial upload. And I feel bad even giving any type of, like, spotlight to Teddy here because he's someone who back in the day was really, like, fun to watch because he would do so much crazy bullshit. But when these guys have proven that they're, like, scum of the earth type shit when you're out there just beating women when you're out there being like chasing and you're on the registry like nobody cares how cool the shit you do is because then i'm just gonna find reasons to make fun of it because no one wants to see you in general that's why nobody hires people like teddy hart and again that's why there's chasing because there's always going to be a piece of shit out there who's always going to be willing to give other piece of shits a shot and it just says so much about both of them but now I want to wrap things back to, I think, the most egregious part of all this. The fact that Jason is still training and wrestling with minors on a basically daily basis. 
Here's the picture of him and the 16 year old girl that he was like in a tag team with a few years ago. As you can imagine, this did not go over well with people even then. Like this is nothing new that people are showing outrage at Chasen and genuinely that's why I'm making this video because I haven't seen nobody talk about this in so long. But he and his wrestling company even gave a statement on this situation because again people were up in arms as to why a 16 year old was being allowed to wrestle with this man. Where were the parents, many people asked. And well, we, we kinda got an answer, but it's not the answer I think anybody wanted. So the statement read as followed. Hello, Chasen Rance was deemed guilty in the court of law in 2011 for actions that took place in 2008. During his time on probation, oh yeah, <laughs> how could I forget? He was, he was just on probation. That's just, that's so, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. During his time on probation, Chasen was in therapy, not allowed to interact with minors. He shouldn't be allowed to interact with minors, like, ever. Like, wh why is it like a, all right, we're going to give you a few years to see if you're fine. Like, how can you trust a person like this? I'm sorry that I keep, like, cutting this up, but it's just such a bullshit-laden statement. And had to submit to drug testing. I imagine they threw that one in there because this was around the time people were accusing other wrestlers of coming to Chasen simply for pot. So this was their way of saying, hey, 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 that's that couldn't be happening either. Chasen completed everything that was required by law and then went back to training minors again, sharing full knowledge of his past with parents. Who? No. No, it comes. How? How in what world did any parent sign off on this? Like, it's alright, Chase, and my kid just wants to be the best wrestler in the world. It's alright that you did that in your past. Bullshit. Bullshit. Maybe, maybe one sicko out there, but, like, come on. Like, who, how, like, this has happened more than once. How many parents are just cool with this? This makes no sense. Chasen continues to be one of the best trainers in professional wrestling around, and there's no denying that. Nobody cares. There's tons of other wrestling schools out there, especially in Florida, and I can't understand why they would think that's something they should have dropped in this, like, press statement. It doesn't matter how quote-unquote good Chasen is, and if there's no denying that, I don't even know anyone Chasen's trained and how far they've gotten, but, uh, I, I just feel, like, like, terrible for them that they had to train under some predator because let's be honest here the biggest thing you have to realize is this if these parents are so fucking stupid that they agree to let their kid train with this guy how do you think that kid's gonna feel about it 10 20 years later because right now that kid probably doesn't realize what dangerous situation they're in that their parents have put them in if that's to be believed then this is just one of the darkest things i've ever seen because i can't believe parents are allowing this and i can't believe that this guy is getting away with this. Um, they say next, while the actions of the past look very bad, the future is bright for- oh my god. The future looks bright for all those that Chasen continues to help. Well, I, like this is gonna sound terrible, but what, how does- how did the future look for the girl that he assaulted? Like, I imagine it was really hard for her growing up after Chasen did what he did, but, but, you know, let's not acknowledge that other than to say, nope, nope, he's good now, and let's talk about all the kids he's interacting with now. Fuck that, man. Like, the fact that they were able to put this statement out and that place is still allowed to run is crazy to me, but this is like a two, three-year-old statement here, and, uh, and we're not even done with it yet. Thank you for any concerns. That's bullshit. Chasen is livid that he has to write this statement out, which is so funny that he's writing it like this because it is him writing this, but he, he has to act like it's some, some higher up. Who knows? Everyone at Team Vision Dojo is doing great and have many big projects continuing and others in the works. <laughs> it's just, they're trying to make it sound like, come on, guys, this is something you should get behind. Like, we're doing something good here when it's like nobody cares about the wrestling you're putting on because every Everyone knows of the dark secret behind it. If you would like to contact Chasen regarding anything else or other false accusations that this website has promoted in the past that was debunked, 
feel free to contact him at chasen at there's his email right but false accusations he was arrested he was found guilty what what false accusations are there you are training with a child you admitted it in the statement that you are in fact around minors and as soon as you got out of whatever program they put you in you went right back to being around minors it's just, this just makes him sound worse, if anything, at least to me. And this stuff about the parents, if he's letting them know and they're allowing this, that's just sickening. But I feel like he's there's got to be some like thing he's not telling them here. Obviously, that's just an accusation, but there's no way in my mind that parents are just going to be like, yeah, whatever, we're cool with our kid training under this guy on the registry. It just seems so far-fetched. But that's the story as far as I know it. Chasen is still actively uploading to his YouTube, like, as soon as just a few hours ago as I brought up in the beginning of the video. He uploads videos every day, almost all day long, and they barely get any views, and it's just, it's shocking to me that someone might come across this video, see it, and go, man, this might be a really good place for either myself to learn, or for my kid who wants to learn to be a wrestler to go train at, and they don't understand that the guy running this place was on the registry. Like, and, and he's someone who just wants to sweep everything under the rug. Don't get it twisted. If you comment anything derogatory about Chasen, he will either block you or just delete the comment right away. He does not want anybody to know about this. And it's so strange to me because if it's something that's so false that you can debunk, as you said in that statement there, well, why are you trying to hide everything about it? This makes no sense, and it's bullshit that this dude's still allowed to run a school. But, you know what, maybe I'm just some high guy on the internet, and my opinion means nothing. Not even a maybe, that is definitely what it is. But I just think this is a really weird situation, and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. So if you guys liked this video, let me know down in the comments below. This is my first foray into wrestling content, and like wrestling degenerate content. If you guys want to see any more of people like this, because sadly they're like a dime a dime dozen in the wrestling community, I would, uh, I'll definitely cover them. Wrestling's always been a, a sport or entertainment, whatever you want to call it, with a very dark past and very dark individuals within it. I mean, this year alone, we've seen how that's true with Vince McMahon being outed. I mean, Vince was outed a few years ago, but nonetheless, this is the year where really everything came tumbling down. And then you look back a few years ago to the speaking out movement, and even just the hundreds of other wrestlers who have been called out for equally horrible tasks over the past few years and before then. There's so many degenerates in this sport and I'd love to talk about them because I've been a fan of wrestling my entire life and the one thing I'm not a fan of is these sickos no matter what community they're in and it's always good to see them get exposed and if we can do it here we're gonna go ahead and do it ladies and gentlemen so with Wrestlemania approaching I felt like it was no better time to start talking about this topic and with that being said I'm gonna get out of here and if you enjoyed this let me know and I'll surely do more have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one